What is going on guys, my name is Ron Beckin from Ron Reviews here with another episode of Reaction 2, which I'll pretend to say episode 17 of season 2, my older brother's feeling. So I'm guessing we're going to be getting a bit more of a retrospective look into Norn, which was a bit of a, a bit of a head scratcher. Norn's whole personality and why she is what she is, because there's something more to it, not just the whole I don't really trust my brother because he's a pervert kind of thing. And yeah, understandable. But again, I'm really hoping soon, sooner rather than later, that we get to see something a big a bit of a mix up. Sure, we did get the whole sisters thing uh coming into town uh and staying with well, within, I was going to say not with him, but only Aisha is doing that. So I, I'm hoping there's going to be more of a mix-up, something, whether it be a re plot resolution with Norn or just something else happening. I want to see more of it. I want to see more, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I'm rambling. I just woke up not so long ago. So without further ado, let us jump into episode 17 of the second season of Michelle Contenta, starting in three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, it's reminding me. I'm wondering what kind of look he has on his face. That That's good. It's shown that, like, he does not want what happened to him to happen to anyone else. Is Norn here? Or is he just assuming that he's that, that um gonna be skipping the intro? Is he just assuming? Yeah, because Norn's not in there. Uh, hopefully he's just uh, hopefully he's right he's not just assuming something happens i i'm i'm assuming it's going to be something else I get his rage and frustration, but I think it's misguided. Okay, you're going to jump a little, uh, a little, a little jump on there, that one. Does she not want to be, have any comparison to him in any way? She's being compared. If that's the case, I completely get it. I I was compared to my big brother in high school. More often by my family, but...
it comes from a different place you've never seen them in. Yeah. yeah, that's a weird situation. I wouldn't know how to I wouldn't know how to confront that right off the bat. <laughs> yep thankfully i've only been in that position twice in my life but never to a horrible extent I think this is the first time Sophie or the other girls have even seen him like this. What is she going to do? I'm a little bit. Um, yeah, he's probably going to get caught sneaking into, uh, Sneaking into the girl's dorm? Hopefully not. He doesn't need worse. He doesn't need worse situations happening. Hiding in like a laundry basket. I'm gonna answer. I'm hoping it's something that not super serious. Why was there a male's voice? Oh. Fuck. Shit. That was good. That was really good. It's gonna be kind of like confronting himself. Oh, man.
Is he basic? Ah, oh, man. I don't. Sorry, I'm not talking so much. But like, I'm like super invested. I, I'm like really curious on where this is gonna go. Ah, uh, dude, this this actually sucks. Like, I get where she's at, and I think that's why it's it's striking as hard as it is. She's only she only thinks she's being seen as Ruby's sister, not Norn. That was a very weird, interesting design to only see her for like a minute. A second, I mean. It's like a harpy girl. It's a dope design, by the way, just saying. I want to see more of it. Just aesthetically pleasing. Oh, is she getting, like, stomach aches because of it?
probably gave herself such a... She actually might have caused herself to have an ulcer. It's, I think that's actually possible. Don't quote me on that. I'm no medical expert. And that's great coming from Richard. Dude, this is a good episode. Great writing. And I know it would probably be much better in... In the light novel. And I know he's and he and Rudius is feeling like he, he he's blaming himself. It's a bad circle. Oh, he's going to be bawling, isn't he? Oh. This is a good episode, guys. <laughs> uh, this is a good episode. You see, what happened was there was a bunch of ninjas you didn't see them. They're cutting up onions on the side. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm hoping this helps. I'm hoping this helps. Damn it, it's a fictional character. Why am I getting so of us? <laughs> You did do something, though.
I wonder if Nanahoshi actually does. Like, I'm not going to look into it, of course, but I wonder if Nanahoshi is actually going to get back. Turning point three. Interesting. All right. I'm, I, uh, words. Words are hard. All right. That was a very good episode. Unfortunately, I was quiet. Probably way more than I wanted to. I like to say what's on my mind. This one was hard. It was hard because I like... I really wanted to read everything that was going on to understand everything that was going on because I tend to ramble and sometimes I miss something and it ruins whatever I was talking about. It's had that happen a couple times. People pointed it out to me. I don't like doing that, but I also like to be engaging, talk, keep things a little bit interesting because again, it's not like I'm allowing audio and most of the video to be shown. So I need to put my own spin on things. So, but this one was hard. It was a great episode. Don't get me wrong, but it was hard. A lot of it was just, it hit me on an emotional path. By no means am I anywhere close to what happened, uh, but I've had similar situations where I felt very similarly to how both have felt before. I have been compared to my older brother. And then I've also felt like I was in the wrong for something because of my existence. And it is a horrible feeling when you're in it. So, but the scene where she pulled back the curtain and for a split second she saw the old dad who was gruff, um, roughed up, grizzled. She saw that in Rudius for a split second, and ooh, ooh, so good, so good. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. I do apologize again. Damn ninjas cutting up onions around me. That's Mike. That's Jose. What? They can't be. <laughs> they can't be ninjas. <laughs> That's racist, Jose. Tell me. <laughs> uh, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go hurry up and like get, well, I don't know how next episode's going to be, but hopefully a little bit more amped up and more energized for Go Go Loser Range. I'm about to watch that next. So yeah, I will see you then. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Yeah, words. Great episode. See ya.